You're listening to the Build Your Life Coaching Biz podcast, where you get to learn how to start and grow an online coaching business from scratch. So how do you know if you're meant to actually become a life coach? Well, do people naturally reach out to you for advice, motivation, and support? Have you experienced a lot of traumatic events in life, and now you feel called to help others through the same challenges? Do you feel like you've already been coaching people your whole life and you're finally ready to start getting paid for it? Well, my friend, if any of those descriptions fit you, then you are in the right place to answer your calling of becoming a life coach. I'm your host, Krista Kathleen, a professional certified coach and business mentor, and I left my former job as a full-time nurse back in 2016 in order to pursue my purpose of becoming an online life coach so I could help to change lives as I traveled around the world. Having the freedom and flexibility to be my own boss and make as much money as I want right from my laptop was one of the best gifts I ever gave to myself, my family, and the world. And now I want to help you to do the same. In these episodes, I'll give you real coaching combined with proven strategies and spiritual practices in order to help you build your dream coaching business that feels right for you. Hello, hello, my coaching friends of the Build Your Life Coaching Biz community. I am so excited to be here with you this evening for our free training Tuesday. And this is going to be a really juicy topic tonight um, because we are in Mercury retrograde right now. And some of you may know what that is, some of you may not. Um, But it's basically where the planet Mercury is slowing down to where it looks like it's actually going backwards in the sky, even though it's not. And then this is a time of our life, and it happens like three to four times a year. And this is a good time in our life where like everything in our life that isn't working is going to come up to the surface. And it's a good thing when that happens because it's an opportunity for us to work through things and heal them on a deeper level so we can more powerfully move forward. But it can also be very frustrating at the same time. And also communication gets impaired, um, technology breaks down, travel plans get interrupted. So a lot of people hate Mercury retrograde, but if you learn to love it, and lean into the shadow side of it, then it really can greatly help you in your life and your coaching business. And so I've noticed a theme coming up lately in my audience and my online clients of um, just feeling like things aren't working right now and feeling like they're stuck. And I know that it's totally in synchronicity with Mercury retrograde. So that's why tonight we're gonna talk about three things to try when you feel like your coaching business isn't working. And my goal or intention for this training, and then some of you will be listening to the podcast later when this converted to podcast, is to walk away feeling better and feeling like you have things to try when you're feeling stuck and frustrated and to have your feelings normalized and to know you're not alone. And uh, I just want you to feel better after listening to this because I know how hard and frustrating it can be when you're new working on your coaching business. Been there, done that, still have lots of days where it's hard and frustrating and I'm feeling all the feels. So we're all in this together and just remember anything you're feeling or experiencing, there's always a lot of other people out there who are going through the same exact thing as well. And the cool thing was is earlier today, I hosted a live group coaching call on Zoom, and I think there was like 30 people, 30 new coaches who came, and it was so cool because everyone's like coming on camera and asking for their coaching request, and it was just really neat for everyone to see like, oh, wow, I'm not the only one struggling with that. Oh, there's other people who don't know how to find clients. There's other people who don't know how to market themselves as like coaches and who don't, you know, who don't know what their niche is, and so I, I really like that. Um, when you, there's that community aspect, you can see that you're not alone in your struggles. Before we um, go into the three things, I just want to like acknowledge all of you and say that this is like learning a whole new language and a whole new skill set. Okay, so 
I started out as a labor and delivery nurse of five years, and I hear people all the time say, I'm not techie enough, I don't know social media. And I didn't know any of that when I decided I was gonna become an online life coach. Like I was starting from square zero. Everyone thinks that because I kind of look younger, like, oh yeah, you know social media. And I don't. Like I didn't have I didn't always have social media. I'm not in the the millennials group. And so it was such a big learning curve in the beginning. And I would get so frustrated and everything felt like it was taking so long and there were so many things I didn't understand. And yeah, learning how to be a professional coach and learning how to start an online business. Um, There were so many times that I would cry and have panic attacks on the floor. And I'm so grateful for my life coach that I was working with for the first year who really helped me to get through those hard times because I don't think I could have done it on my own by the power of support and community. And I remember that um, I was in Rebecca Rubin's six-month mastermind a couple of years ago, and I was creating a sales page, and I was trying to figure out how to insert a PayPal link onto the sales page so people could just sign up on the spot and purchase one of my group coaching programs, and I could not figure it out for the life of me. And I just came onto the call. Um, there was like five other coaches on the call, and I just started crying. And I was like, I can't do this. This is so hard. I have no idea what I'm doing. People aren't going to buy from me. I'm not going to find clients. This isn't going to work. And I mean, the next day I like figured it out. It was super easy and simple. But like I was just in that space where I was like, this is impossible. This isn't going to work. Um, just going to those like really bad, dark places in my mind thinking like, I'm not meant to be a life coach and all that. So again, if that's something, if you're like in that space right now, then this training is specifically designed for you today to, um, you know, help you to get out of that space. Because when we're stuck there for too long, it keeps us paralyzed. And we, um, you, you know, we can really start to retreat and withdraw within. And then obviously, we're not putting our offers out there. We're not inviting people to work with us. And we're not Um, hiring clients, we're not making money, and then we just get down on ourselves and self-sabotage, and it's just a really bad, vicious cycle. So we want to, I'm not saying that after you learn these tools that you'll never have a bad day in your coaching business, but you'll just learn how to get out of it quicker, and you're going to have to start learning how to coach yourself through things. So that's what I do with my private clients is um, they're not going to be working with me forever, even though I would love that, the reality of the situation is not. They're going to be working with me anywhere from three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, one year, two years, three years. I think the longest I've worked with a client right now is for three years. And um, But usually you don't work with a coach forever. And so you have to learn how to, everything that you learn working with a personal coach, you have to learn how to start to apply it to yourself and like um, create your own your toolbox, your life toolbox, and you can pull out these tools and use them um, at any time when things get hard and challenging and to, um, like I said, get you out of the funk quicker. So I always hear a lot of people say, well, I never want to worry about money again, or I never want to have a hard day, or I never want to feel anxious, or I never want to feel depressed. And um, that's just not realistic. That's setting you up to fail because you are going to feel anxious. You are going to feel depressed. You are going to worry about money. Um, but the reality is, is can you, you know, work through it quicker and recognize it quicker and have this awareness? And if so, that's where you're learning and growing. So the goal is not to never have challenges or problems or hard days or feel hard emotions, but it's to, um, you know, be able to get you to. Um, recognize what's happening and to create a mindset shift quicker sooner rather than later so you can keep moving forward so um cool we have valerie on right now we have marcy and both of you are on my group coaching call today so you two are rock stars i love how dedicated you are to your coaching businesses and being resourceful and taking advantage of these free trainings that i'm doing so kudos to both of you you're amazing, and it just tells me that both of you are going to be a successful coach because of, um, again, just using your using your resources, and there's so many free resources out there in the world. So, 
All right. Um, the first thing to try when you feel like your coaching business isn't working, and then I'm going to have a bonus tip at the end after I tell you the three things as well as to why I think your coaching business probably isn't working, but we'll get there in a second. So the first thing is when you feel like your coaching business isn't working, you feel like you've done all the things, tried all the things, is you need to step away from your business. Like you need to like physically step away. You need to close the laptop and you need to go do something else. You can't be in a frustrated, overwhelmed state and try to find productive solutions. Okay. So the next time this happens, when you have those days where you just feel like I've, I've tried all the things and nothing's coming through and feeling stuck, I want you to shut down the laptop or your phone, wherever you're working, and I want you to go move your body some way, or I want you to give yourself space. So different things you can do, these are things that I do, is like I'll go for a walk outside, so connecting in nature. Um, or, you know, again, like I said, just moving your body, um, taking a yoga class, um, going for a hike, you know, doing a CrossFit class, whatever it is that you enjoy being active, like getting your body physically moving will help the ideas start to flow through and help the emotions and everything flow through as well. And you're not going to feel as stagnant. Another thing you can do is like actually getting away from your workspace. So a lot of us work at home and we're here 24 seven, right? We're eating here, we're sleeping here, we're interacting with our partners here and our kids and working and it's just too much. And so you need that break. So something you can do is like for one night or for a weekend, you can get away. You can go get an Airbnb or go get a hotel. I've done this in St. Louis where I'm located where I'll go get a hotel room for the night. I don't necessarily want to leave the city, but I'm like, I just need to like physically get away from my house for more than a couple hours. And every single time I do that, it's like, oh, all the business ideas start coming through again. I feel like I can breathe. I feel like I can relax. Um, I remember after I got divorced and lost my nursing job all in the same week, I just felt this huge urge to go travel the world. So I sold all my stuff and traveled for two years and having that space from everything that had happened in my life was so precious because it gave me so much perspective from like stepping away from the thing that I was so up close to that I couldn't find any solutions and I couldn't figure out why it happened. So the space is so necessary and we don't want to burn out, right? We did not start our coaching businesses to burn out. That's what happens a lot of times in the corporate world, in our day jobs. That is not why we created our businesses. So hopefully you all believe me now how powerful it is to step away, physically step away from working on your business or the area where you work on your business for at least a couple hours or maybe 24 hours or uh, maybe two, a weekend or a whole week if you can. Um, traveling, relaxing, vacation, vacationing. It is so, so, so important for your mental health and your productivity. And just remember that when you rest, you're actually being extremely productive. So resting is a huge part of um, the success with running a coaching business. And a lot of times we forget that. So it is okay. I, I A lot of times I will hear my clients and people in my audience say like, oh, I didn't work on my coaching business for a couple days and I'm so bad and I didn't post on social media. And like, that's okay. Like your, your people aren't going anywhere. And I know some people will say, well, it messes up the algorithm. Well, fuck the algorithm, right? Like we have to stop giving so much power to the fucking algorithm. Like who cares about the algorithm? I hate the algorithm. Yes, there are things that are true and when you are more consistent on social media it is easier for people to see your post but it's not the end of the world if you have to step away for a couple days and you can easily get back into it and all will be fine and I just don't want you all to be miserable running your businesses because that's not fun.
We didn't start our businesses to be miserable, right? We start our businesses so we can enjoy life more and more freedom, more flexibility. So it's okay to step away. Look at that rhymes. It's okay to step away. Uh, so young, so good to see you here. Hello, hello. All right. Number two is plug into spirituality. I know Valerie will validate this. I know Marcy's starting to get more into spirituality herself. Hold on, let me take a drink. <clears throat> this is my beautiful new gallon water jug I just purchased this week. As you can see, I'm almost there. I'm at 7 p.m., so yes. Okay, um, so plug into spirituality. So I was listening to a podcast um, by Abraham Hicks and it was really powerful and they were talking about a toaster and they said what happens is you have it you take a toaster out and you put the bread in the toaster and then you try so hard to get the damn toaster to toast the bread and you take in all the steps to get everything ready but you didn't plug the damn toaster into the wall so when not when you don't plug the toaster into the wall, it's basically useless. It doesn't work. It's the same thing with us as human beings. When we are not tapped into something greater than ourselves, something um, right, and it doesn't matter what it is that you call it. It can be you know God, Santa, Buddha Claus. Uh, no, what did I just say? Buddha Claus, um, God, Santa Claus, Buddha, the Easter Bunny. Um, Allah, you know, there, uh, there's so many different names out there for um, basically like a higher power. So what I do is when I'm feeling stuck and I'm, I'm really in my masculine energy and I've, I've just tried all the things, I've posted a lot and emailed my list and followed up with people and I'm just like, nothing is working. Why isn't this working? Then obviously step one is to step away from the computer and then step two is to um, tap into your spirituality and so some different ways that you can do that is you know you can read a book i have if any of you need any resources i have like hundreds of different type of like spiritual books and just that it'll make you feel better and more inspired um one i'm reading right now is called it's not your money by, uh, what's it called? Oh, Tasha Silver. It's Not Your Money by Tasha Silver. It's really, really good. And she talks about like the power of surrendering and letting go and offering um, all of your financial problems to the universe and the universe will take care of it. And it's really powerful. So I really recommend that book. Um, you, you can do tapping. I love Brad Yates on YouTube and he has these free tapping videos. And if none of you have tried tapping, I highly recommend it. It's, I think it's way better than meditation, um, but you can also do meditation. You can um, do a Reiki session. You can, let's see, what are some other spiritual practices? I mean, you can attend church. Uh, you can take a yoga class and meditate. Uh, you can go hike. A lot of times when I'm hiking, I'm connecting with my spirit guides. You can do a uh, like a card pool, oracle card pool. So just like figuring out what your spiritual practice is. And if you haven't done this yet, I would highly recommend to start this sooner rather than later because it makes all the difference in the world. When I first started working with my life coach back in 2015, I was not really into spirituality. I like I kind of was because I was teaching yoga at the time, but I didn't know anything past that. And she was like, like giving me crystals to use and teaching me all about Sage and Palo Santo and gifting me sessions with her psychic. And I was just like, this stuff is cool, but I don't know anything about this. And now I'm like obsessed with all those things. And it just, I feel like it, um, it just like opens up all of my energy channels my chakras and when i'm like really plugged in like the toaster we talked about that's when i feel really supported by the universe and i feel like the universe has my back the universe wants me to succeed something also that i do is i do a calling in ceremony so a lot of times i'll do this before i have big launches and i will 
turn on my Himalayan salt lamp. I light all my candles. I have my crystals nearby. I sage my room. Like I really set up my space to create this sacred container. And then I close my eyes and I just, I just meditate and I talk to the universe and I'll say like, send me the people who are meant to work with me in this program. And then who's meant to work with me at this time. And then I get really quiet and then the names will just start like popping up into my head and I write them down. And it's so crazy. Cause it's like, every time I do that, then the person will reach out to me the next day and be like, I was thinking about you. And it's like, when that happens, it's like your spirit guides are talking with their spirit guides and it's so powerful. Um, and it just, it just makes life easier. It makes running a coaching business easier when you have, again, that strong faith that there's something out there greater than you that's there to help you. And a lot of times too is, um, like, so for example, with this life coach certification program that's starting next, view it as a way I don't see it as like oh I have to do this or I have to do this to make money or find clients or just kind of like just things that like don't feel good but I like a calling like it's this thing that the universe has asked me to create and so I'm I'm doing this to like listen to the universe right and I'm doing this to serve and I'm doing this to honor and to carry out my purpose and I know as a side effect, like it'll get sold out and that I will make all the money that I need to make from this. But like, that's not my leading thought is, okay, I'm going to do this to find clients and make money because that just doesn't feel good. So when you think of like these ideas that you have and you're like, okay, the universe, like put that idea inside of me because the universe has created us. So anything that we think of is coming directly from the universe. You're like, okay, if the universe is asking me to do this thing, then I have to honor it. And it doesn't matter how crazy it sounds, how impossible it feels, but I trust. I trust that if the universe is putting this idea into my thought right now, in my, my thought conscious right now, that it's meant to happen and that it will turn out the way that it needs to. And all I need to do is show up and create it and talk about it. And the universe will take care of the rest. And like, I don't know how you all feel when I just said that, but I just feel like a million times lighter and I'm like, oh, okay, I can do this. This can work. Because otherwise when I think of, I have to find 12 people to sign up for my coach training program and each of them are going to pay me $5,000 and this all has to happen before October 4th. Like that just feels horrible because I was putting so much pressure on myself and that is like stepping away from the universe's plans and that is just my ego taking over and the ego needs to go fuck itself right so that's my rant <laughs> for step number two. Oh, so young you said you need one of those water bottles yes um especially you being a nurse you um that'll be so helpful for you to have one of those valerie said that's a lot of water yes it is i pee a million times a day <laughs> Uh, so young said that's exactly how I feel after practicing nursing for almost 20 years a bigger calling mm -hmm. and that's a lot of pressure yeah you all get it you hear what I'm saying okay and if any um, thank you so much everyone for commenting I love that you're actively participating in this discussion and then if you have all of like any questions or you know anything you want to add just throw it in the comment section this is the place to do it okay so third thing to do when you feel like your coaching business isn't working, get an outside perspective. Okay. I don't care who it's from. Uh, maybe it's your partner, your brother, your sister, your parent, your coach, your therapist, a mentor, a teacher. I would prefer for you to get an outside perspective from someone who understands and knows what you're trying to achieve and do. Sometimes it can get a little messy and toxic uh, when we like use our friends and our family as life coaches because they're not professionally trained and they're just gonna give you advice based off their own agenda. And that can really like fuck with your mind. But you all understand what I'm saying is when you are so up close to the problem and you are constantly like 
thinking about it and reworking it in your mind, like that's what keeps you stuck. And you need someone from the outside in to look at it and be able to provide some clarity. And it's so fucking cool because um, with my clients, they'll come onto my coaching calls and they're like so upset. And they're like, Krista, I'm so stuck on this thing. I can't do this and this and this. And I'm like, okay, tell me about it. And then within a matter of minutes, I'm like, oh, well, this is what you need to do. Or, oh, this is, doesn't, isn't this the answer? Isn't this the solution? And they're like, oh, that's amazing. How did you do that? And it's not that like I have superpowers or anything. It's just that I was able to like quickly identify the gap or the hole because I'm not in the problem all day. And so that's why working with a coach is so valuable is because they can quickly see these things that you can't see yourself. And I remember there was like this TED talk that I listened to and it was this world famous surgeon and he was like at the top and had won all these awards, was making all this money. And he was like, you know, I really just, I don't think there's anything else that I could improve in the OR and with my skill set. But he's like, but just to humor myself, I'm going to bring um, like a mentor in and just have them see if maybe there's like one little thing I could improve in my, um, you know, in my surgical practice, you know, and his ego's thinking like, I'm such a hot shot and there's probably not really anything I need to do, right? And this is what we do. We think like, oh, I, I know everything there is to um, coaching others and helping others and running a coaching business and that. And then so what happens is this, you know, guy brings this mentor, the surgeon brings this mentor in, and then he just starts going crazy, taking notes after notes after notes. And so then at the end of the surgery, he sits down and debriefs with the mentor. And he's like, okay, so you probably didn't like find much, did you? And he's like, uh, no, we have a lot to go over. And he just had like so many different things that the surgeon could improve on. And the surgeon's mind was like blown. Like, I had no idea. I had no idea I was I could do that more efficiently or I could do that better or I was doing that wrong. And so it's the same thing for us is it doesn't matter how many years you've been doing this or how um, many goals you've hit or how good you are at being a coach or running your own coaching business. Like there's always going to be ways to improve and you're not going to be able to see those gaps yourself. And so that's why you want to continuously keep working with coaches for the rest of your life if you want to keep improving and you want to keep growing. Okay. Um, yeah. So I, you know, to be honest, like I'm not always working with a personal coach myself, but usually at least like once, one time per year, I'm like investing in some sort of group coaching or some sort of new certification or training or working with a personal coach because I know that I still have so much to learn, you know, as a professional coach. And I've been doing this for five years, but I still have so much to learn. And I know that there's always going to be things that I can't see. And I don't want to waste my time being stuck because that sucks. Like when you're stuck, you can't change lives and you can't make money and you can't do things. And it just feels terrible. So um, just to like summarize all this, like it's just so valuable to have someone from the outside who can um, quickly look at your business. And and even like, you know, for some of you might be like, well, Krista, I would love to work with you for six months or I would love to do your seven month online coach training program. But I just, you know, I don't have the funds for that right now. Well, even if you do like a 60 minute um, personalized coaching session with me, you'll, you'll get so much clarity and so many answers in that 60 minutes versus not doing anything at all. Right. So I'll do this occasionally, um, with one of my business coaches is she doesn't have any spots open to work with her long term, but sometimes I'll just occasionally do like, um, a two hour VIP session with her and it's over a thousand bucks, but it's totally worth it because I walk away with like so much insight and answers and that can last me for the next couple months. So just for all of you too, know, there is a lot of power in doing like a really focused 60 minute coaching session with a coach you like and trust. And you can, you're always welcome to do that with me as well. So, so many different options and resources out there. 
Uh, so Young said, we all have blind spots we might not be aware of. Yes, 100%, 100%. So, okay, let's quickly review the three things and then we're gonna talk about the bonus tip and then the other important announcement after that. So the, the three things we talked about tonight was stepping away from your computer or your workspace, plugging into spirituality in some way, and getting an outside perspective. So the next time that you have a really hard, frustrating day in your coaching business, I want you to do at least one of these things or all three of these things. I want you to step away, I want you to do something spiritual, and then I want you to get an outside perspective from someone that you trust. And if you do that, I promise you will feel so much better and it will you'll be able to quickly move through whatever you're feeling frustrated with. All right, because you all are brilliant and resourceful and smart and you're change makers and you don't need to be walking, you know, one of my past mentors told me this and she's like, Krista, when you walk around all day saying, I don't know how to do this, I don't know how to do this, that is so damaging for your brain because you're keeping yourself stuck. You're not saying, where are my resources? Who can help me? What's the, what's the solution to this? So she's, she, when we would come on to coaching calls, she would never, ever let us say, like, I don't know. She's like, you do know. You do know. Like, she was so mean sometimes. Oh, she made me cry a lot. But at the same time, like, it was good. Like, because she needed to interrupt that story in my head that I didn't know because I did know. And so I will be doing that all the, the same for you all, too. I will challenge you and I will say you do know. You do know the answer. You do know the solution. And we're going to find it together because there is a solution. There's always a solution. As Marie Forio says, everything is figure outable. I still have to read that book, but I love the title. Okay, so the last bonus tip that I want to talk about is I know that I'm not like talking to, I know some of you are commenting here in the comments, but I know I'm not like talking to you all and I don't have eyes in your coaching business right now. So if you're currently feeling frustrated, stuck, overwhelmed, I don't know what the exact problem is, but I have a pretty good idea of what the problem might be. Um, because I see this happen all the time. And then once people make this shift, it's like your business can totally take off. Okay, so usually if you're having a hard time making money and finding clients, it's because you're not consistently selling in your business each week. And I did this for a long time, for like months and months and months where I was just creating content. I was like, putting up pretty quotes on Instagram, and then I was talking about hard things, and I was sharing my personal story, and that was like, that was helping people, and it was inspiring them, but it, there was, I wasn't selling anything. Um, people didn't have anything to join, right? So once you figure out what your, your signature program is, whether it's a group program or one-to-one -one or workshop or retreat, and then you consistently talk about it each week and you invite people into this program and you have your call to actions, that is when you'll start selling stuff and that is when you'll start making money. And I've seen my clients who make that switch, who are intentional of like every week, okay, on this day, I'm gonna sell my program and I'm gonna talk about it this day. And then on this day, I'm gonna sell and talk about my program in this way. And when they consistently do that over the course of three months, that's when they start to see the momentum, they start to have discovery calls getting booked, and then they start to make money and find clients. So a lot of times, so think about it this way. Think about like you wanna get healthy, you want to lose weight, you wanna have abs, you wanna have that bikini body, and you're like, you know, months and months go by and you're like, oh, I feel so gross. I feel so bloated and disgusting and I'm never going to get skinny. I'm never going to lose weight. And then if someone were to ask you like, okay, well, what have you been doing to lose weight? And you're like, well, I think about it all the time and I complain about it all the time, but that's it. That's not going to get you results. Like you have to go to the gym each week. Right, you have to go to the gym a couple times each week and then you have to change your diet as well. You have to drink more water. So you have to actually like do things every week to get results. The same thing is with your coaching business. Like you can't just 
go online thinking about working with clients. Like you have to actually take the steps to put yourself out there and talk about your program and invite people into your program. Okay, so hopefully that resonates and sinks in for all of you because I guarantee that this will help most of you with finding clients and making money. And then if you go, well, Krista, I don't know what kind of program to create. I don't know how to price it. I don't know who my niche is. I don't know where to talk about my program online. I have a solution for that. Don't worry, I've got you covered. I have a solution. Join my life coach training program this fall. That is exactly what the program is designed for. It is designed to teach you how to create your signature coaching package, what to price it at, where to sell it online, how to sell it online, right? Like I teach you all of those things because you're not gonna just know how to do all this stuff. Like nobody is born just knowing how to run a successful coaching business. Like you have to learn it from somewhere. And that was, that was the game changer for me is when I went through a coach training program back in 2017, like that is when my coaching business took off because I actually had people teaching me what to do because I didn't know what to do beforehand. So if all of you all, if all of you are like watching this and you're scratching your head and you're like, well, I don't know how to coach people and I don't know how to create a coaching program and I don't know how to talk about my coaching program. Of course you don't know. You haven't gone through a coach training program yet. Like how are you supposed to know these things? Especially if you're in a profession that has nothing to do with coaching or business or marketing, right? Like me being a nurse for five years, that doesn't teach you how to make money and find coaching clients. Like I had no fucking clue. So that is why I created this coach training program so I can actually help you to learn how to become a really confident and successful coach and to find clients and make money. And this program is going to be amazing because it's interactive. So every week on Tuesdays or Thursdays, you'll attend a group coaching call. And then on Saturdays, you'll have a coaching skills lab. So you're going to be working a lot with me and the other students every week over the course of seven months. And you're going to be practicing coaching with the other students. You're going to get live feedback from me right after the calls. And I'm very nice and generous with my feedback, so you don't have to worry. Um, there's going to be videos. There's going to be workbooks that are going to teach you step by step how to create your own coaching sessions, what to ask on your coaching sessions how to um, market yourself as a life coach, brand yourself as a life coach, how to set up an email list, how to set up a podcast or a YouTube channel or whatever kind of marketing things you wanna do. I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know. So you'll walk away from this experience feeling confident and feeling good and being like, Krista, why didn't you launch this program like years ago? On top of it, you get to attend my wellness retreat for life coaches in Clearwater Beach, Florida this January. It's a three-day retreat. You're gonna get to have professional photos taken. We're gonna have a photographer there so you can use these photos on your website and your social media. And we're gonna do some amazing activities. We're gonna have personal development workshops. We're gonna have yoga every morning by the pool. Um, we're gonna do um, kayaking, stand up paddling. We're gonna swim with manatees. We're gonna do a static dance, a cacao ceremony, a, a fear burning ceremony, a boss, bat, um, a boss bitch baptism. Like it is gonna be an experience that you will remember for the rest of your life. Like. Trust me, I've, I've hosted this retreat many times and you are going to walk away a changed woman or man. It's going to be incredible. So, and just so you all know, I will not be running this program again until October of 2022. So I'm only running it once the first time and the first time it's going to be $5,000 pay in full. And then I have a couple payment plan options as well. The next time when we run this program, it's gonna the price is gonna go up to fifteen thousand. So this is the time to get in. Okay, we have three spots are already booked. We have nine spots left, two spots pending, and all you have to do is I'll put the link in the comments section here. Let me do it right now. Um, but so you're gonna go onto my website, buildyourlifecoachingbiz.com. And then after you read the info and you're like, yep, this is what I need. I'm ready to do this. 
Um, you'll hit one of the buttons and then you'll go ahead and apply. And then I will get your application in my inbox and then we'll set up an interview so we can chat. I can answer all of your questions about the training, make sure that it's truly gonna be a good fit for you moving forward because I'm not just accepting anybody into this program. Like I'm not, I don't wanna just get the spots filled. I don't wanna just make money. Like I truly want this to be for people who are ready, who are ready to commit, ready to grow, ready to be challenged, ready to step outside their comfort zone, are ready to be certified coaches. And then the cool part too is you can work towards your ICF credentials as well. So the International Coaching Federation is the top credentialing body in the world for coaches. And the credentials are recognized all over the world. So say that you wanna be a coach for a different company or corporation, you're gonna to have to be ICF accredited. Right. Um, if you want to be a future trainer for my company, you're going to have to be ICF accredited as well. There's just more opportunities that open up for you when you have your coaching credentials. And to be honest, this is how the coaching world is unregulated right now. Um, but in the future, they are going to move towards making it to where you're going to have to be credentialed at some point, um, just because there's a lot of practicing coaches out in the world who aren't being ethical, who are unknowingly harming their clients, and we need to have more properly trained coaches in the world. Um, just because it benefits us, it benefits our clients. I cringe at thinking about some of the clients that I coached the first year before I, before I did coach training. Uh, like I said, no fucking clue what I was doing. I mean, I'm proud of myself for like just starting messy and getting started, but like I cringe at some of the things I did and said that I look back now and I'm like, oh my gosh, I would have never ever done that now as a professional coach, but I just didn't know. Um, so you're just gonna learn so much of what to do, of how to really take care of your clients, be the best coach possible for them, and then I'm 100% convinced too that there's a huge problem right now in the coaching world with everybody feeling like imposters. And I truly think that reason is, is because when you haven't been properly trained and you don't know what you're doing and then you're going out there and you're saying, I'm a professional coach and it costs $5,000 to work with me, but you're like, I have no clue what I'm doing. Like it feels terrible. And then it really affects your confidence and it's just and people see right through and everything so um, really the cure for making money and finding clients is to go through a good quality training one that is icf accredited and then you know being able to confidently like say and put yourself out there and say i am a certified credential coach and i know what i'm doing i know what i'm talking about and i know how to get my clients results so that is how you will feel after you work with me so just go ahead and click on this link here, buildyourlifecoachingbiz.com and um, fill out the application form tonight. Oh, last thing I forgot to add is that the most money you'll ever save ends tomorrow. So we have an early bird special where you'll save $250 off tuition. And when you apply tonight or tomorrow, you will still be, um, you can still take advantage of that, but then starting on Thursday, it'll go away. And so you're gonna to have to pay an additional $250, which kind of sucks. So please, 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 if you've been thinking about this, if you've been thinking about working with me, if you've been thinking about becoming a certified coach, um, please apply now. Take advantage of saving the money versus waiting later where you're just gonna to have to pay $250 more. And you can use the $250 however you want when you come on the retreat with us. So yay for saving money. All right, everyone. Um, thanks so much for joining in on the training this evening. I so appreciate all of you being valuable members in this Facebook group. And I can't wait to work with you this fall. So keep, keep showing up in the group and asking your questions, asking for support. And I will see you all on next Tuesday. Your questions, asking for support. And I will see you all on next Tuesday for Free Training Tuesday. All right. Bye, everyone.